um, why don't you talk, tell me a little bit about why you signed up for Lighten Up? Okay. So I have been vegan for a long time. I say vegan, not whole food plant-based because I ate crap. Mm -hmm. You know, I didn't come by it willingly per se. Excuse me, the doctor just, this is what my kidney specialist wanted me to do. And it worked. Um, Over the years, I got better with it. But my weight has fluctuated. I joke and say I've gained and lost the same 50 pounds multiple Mm -hmm. times, but I really have. I've been 119. I've been 200 and I'm five, eight in a medium frame. So both are bad, um, for my body. So I've done like tons of resets. I've done the juice reset. I've done tons of a weight loss company resets, put all this money into stuff. But, um, when you guys came out and you started talking about it, I had fallen in love with clean food, dirty girl. Like from the moment I saw the welcome video, I kind of just happened upon you guys when I was looking for a recipe, when I was sick of eating crap. Mm -hmm. And, um, I was just like, yeah, I know this will be perfect. And you had talked about having a movement component and do you, I know you remember, but you had done a blog where you were in the airport doing your movement Mm -hmm. and and I said, Oh, like I need, I made a mental note. Oh, I want to like check out the movement practice, but like many mental notes, I forgot oh. my mental note. And so I thought, oh, this is my chance, right? So that is why, like I was just really feeling sluggish. I had a lot of things that I couldn't control in my life. Mm-hmm. And this was something that was just for me. And I talked to my husband and I'm like, eh, I don't know if I should spend the money. And he said, baby, spend it. You'll feel better do what you want like you got this so so yay so here you are mm-hmm. <laughs> so here I am that's the long answer but yes here I am yeah so you just felt like you needed to do something for you and to focus really on you and kind of give yourself this gift yeah and I knew that it had to be something different I didn't want many times I've done these 30 days and then day 31 I'm back to crap and I knew that somehow intuitively this process would be different and I could go back to my way of life as opposed to something to do for 30 days and lose a bunch of weight and come back. So it really wasn't for weight loss. I mean, my weight, I lost 15 pounds now. I think I'm, I would be at like day 45. I don't even know. I don't keep track anymore. Yeah. Um, but I, it was more about just feeling better mm-hmm. So, mm-hmm. and I do I feel much better. Yay. Yeah. So let's talk about it. So And that's perfect. I mean, we really, really, and as you know, like we really designed this program so that it's not like, oh, after day 30, it's over and I go back to my old life. It's like, hmm, we're setting the stage for you to really live your life from here forward and just have this be your life because it's, because you can and why not, right? Mm -hmm. I mean, like that's what it's about. So let me know, like, so when you were going through this, tell me some of the things that um, you went through both both challenging and sort of like amazing during this process. So I don't know that I had too much challenging, to be honest. Um, I think probably the biggest challenge was having to change the mindset that I don't have to eat three meals and two snacks a day. I think for so many years, like that was ingrained. Um, I also... I think, like, I thought snacking after dinner would be difficult because I always had a snack after dinner, but I, that didn't really bother me. I had tea, like, twice, and I never really thought about it. It didn't really bother me, Um, but it was the meals, like, knowing that I didn't have to get up and eat breakfast. I I was bulimic. I shouldn't say was. I I say recovering bulimic since Mm -hmm. I was 15. I'm 50 now, Mm -hmm. Um, but food has always been something for me to control. And I thought, oh my goodness, like here I am. I'm not getting up and eating breakfast right away. Like this is going to be hard. And if it was like trying to, I guess it was challenging, trying to plan like, okay, if I'm hungry at 10, where am I going to be at 10? Because my day, I'm a therapist in the schools, but I, a different kind of OTT. I work with kids who have had severe trauma. Mm -hmm. So I don't, I can't plan my day. Like if somebody's having a problem, that's where I go. Um, it's a really cool job, but it's a really stressful job at times where I'm giving lots of trainings to Mm -hmm. teachers. So I never, like that I was worried about. I was so afraid of being hungry and I thought, well, this Mm -hmm. is stupid. 
Like you grew up without money, but you were never hungry. Why are you afraid of being hungry? And I think in one of your blogs, you said, you're not going to die if you're hungry. You're going to get food. And I thought, yeah, like this is silly. So I just plant, you know, I just brought food with me and trying to listen to my body, I guess would probably be the biggest challenge, but it's the biggest gift. Totally. Because now I don't worry about it. I've always taken food with me places, but now I don't plan a huge bag of food. Like I used to bring this huge, ridiculous bag every day, whether I ate it or not, because I was so afraid I would be somewhere and not get food. And now I know I don't really have to do that anymore. So it's pretty cool. Yeah, that's really, um, there's a lot of freedom in that. There is, you know, it's just, my husband said, he's, you know, he said, your whole like demeanor is different. You don't like, we went to a grad party and there wasn't anything I could eat. And instead of us stopping at a local fast food place that has beans that I can eat that I know is going to make me feel like crap. I'm like, "Eh, I can wait the hour till I get home. And I used to worry about eating too late at night. And now I'm like, if my dinner is at seven, it's not my best, but it's at seven. I'm just going to eat it then. So that has been the biggest gift and probably the biggest challenge and then the biggest aha. I think I got the most out of that. Like I, I'm finally realizing when I'm hungry. For years, I just watched when people stopped eating and I stopped. Now I never know when I need to stop. So, oh, that's, that's juicy there. That's yeah, really juicy. Yeah. I mean, yeah, isn't that interesting that like the most challenging part of this was also like the biggest lesson for you? Like, I love that because I see that all the time. And isn't that the truth in life? It's like, yeah. And like side note, I'll hear somebody say, okay, well, I'm not sure if I want to do a daily practice, what should I focus on? I'm like, focus like for the movement bit, like focus on the ones that you don't want to do. Mm-hmm. Exactly. <laughs> Cause it's the exactly. same. It's like when you focus on the stuff that's hard, man, that's when you get like so much benefit from it. So that is awesome. And to really like get in tune with your hunger and to get in tune with your body, like how cool is that? How it has your life, I mean, we've been already kind of talking about that, but since from the beginning, from day one to day 40, whatever day this is, like how else has your life kind of morphed because of this? Um, and talk a little bit too about the movement practice. Okay. So um, as far as like internal attitude, I'm much calmer. We had, um, the end of the school year is rough for me. I had a, I've never been really a big alcohol drinker except for my young teenage years. Mm -hmm. But I did realize that when things got tough, I would numb myself. I mean, one, half a drink really numbs me. I have low tolerance, thank goodness. But something happened at work and it was like a really severe case and my heart was broken. And I went to the store to get something. And I saw that the Mike's hard lemonade and I thought, Oh, that would be good. And I paused and I thought, you know, you are taking care of yourself. This isn't going to help you, but mostly you're not going to be there for that child. You don't get to numb yourself to his pain. Like you can't help him if you're numb. Like too many other people have checked out on him. You can't do that. So I don't think I would have done that a month ago or two months ago. I mean, there were times yeah, I would have like maybe a drink every three months, every two months. But when something bad happened, I went to that. We also had um, a family member had brain surgery and has a brain mass. And so we were at the hospital long days. And I had the energy and the ability to take care of other people because I had my I brought my balls. I did not lay on the floor like you did at the airport. I didn't want to lay on the hospital floor. But I had my balls. I did my highs. I went you know, and just took care of myself. I, my husband was rolling on the ball. Um, and that helped the movement, I think. So, well, personally, like attitude wise, I feel much better. I'm calmer. I've been a much anxious person. I had like seven ulcers at one point in my life, Mm. Um, but movement wise last year, I broke my back and I went from running marathons and extreme working out to try to lose weight to not being able to move for about a year. And I, not kidding you, Molly, Michelle, you are God, because I could not, like I've had back pain every day since my back surgery, every day. I buy, I don't take, I can't take medicine because I can, but I buy those heating pads that you sit mm-hmm. on your back. Like I think I need a bulk to buy, but I haven't worn one in a month. Like getting on the noodle ball was hard for me. It made me dizzy. Mm-hmm. I get lightheaded, but now I love it. 
Mm -hmm. And I have no back pain. Like I walk three miles a day, every, every single morning I started working out again, not extreme because I don't feel like I have to anymore. Mm -hmm. Um, I spend two hours a day in my garden now bent over on all fours and I come in and I do my practice and I'm great. Like I have no pain. It's amazing. And with the exception of last night being excited, I've been sleeping through the night, which I always put something to help me sleep. Oh. I mean, I fall asleep at like 9 30, 10 o'clock, and by 5 30, 6 o'clock, I'm awake on my own. It's crazy. <laughs> yeah. I'm like, whoa. And sometimes I'm irritated. Like, really? Couldn't you just sleep on Saturday? But nope. Mm-hmm. Welcome to my life. I'm like, even on a Sunday, it doesn't matter. Five o'clock, I'm up. Yep. So you get it now. Um, that is so cool. I mean, that's so, that's so, like so many things in just a month, first of all, mm-hmm. like, yeah. and also I think was part of this, like, let's go back to the mindset thing for a minute and how much calmer you are and more patient and, and, and not maybe reacting and, and, and instead taking a pause to kind of check in. Like, was that something that you expected to have happen during this program? No. And you know what, honestly, years of therapy. And I don't know if I wouldn't have, if I would have got here without therapy too. So I'm not dissing therapy, but years of therapy, I couldn't get there. You know, I couldn't get there with the bulimia. It always came back. But then like, I I told you guys before, like before lighten up, you had made a comment, like, if you want to eat it, you can eat it. Like you have control of that. And I thought, oh my goodness, I have control of that. Like it's not controlling me. And then Mm -hmm. I I used, you know, that was in my head, but then with lighten up, I think the body discovery, like it's such a nice way of going through therapy because when you're one-on-one with the therapist, or at least me, maybe other people aren't like this. I was always wondering what she was going to think about what I said. Like if I talked Mm -hmm. about something with my mom or something with my kids and she would pick up on that and start to talk about it, I felt like I had to defend them. Like I couldn't really be honest where I would think, does she know I'm not telling her everything? Like I, I couldn't put it all out there, but with the body discovery, it's just you, like you have to put it on, right. And I wrote it down and I cried with some of it. And I don't, I don't know if I should call it body discovery, root discovery, whatever, but that, that fit. that's a huge much. Not going to fib. When I first laid down and Michelle was talking about ancestry, I was a little irritated because I don't, I, my stepdad had passed away and that's who I think of my dad. Mm. And I'm like, I don't want to think about my dad. And I thought, well, this is like really stupid. You're not going to get anywhere if you don't. Like Mm. you still remember sitting on the porch waiting for him to come get you and he never showed up. Mm. You still remember he lived around the block from you for a year and you didn't know it. Like, come on. So Mm. yeah. So at first I was irritated. I had to do it. But I'm like, nope, trust the process. You always tell everybody else, trust Team Dirty, just trust. So (laughs) So I did. So it made a huge difference. It was like therapy. It was like free therapy really that's the thing and now you get it and that's totally like that's why I wanted to put together this program because I'm like I want everybody to experience what I have experienced with this movement stuff and then you combine the food and it's like such a natural fit but isn't it incredible like just the shit that comes up and you're able to like I don't know. I've had stuff come up that I didn't even know needed to come up. And then I was able to let it go because then it's like, okay, well, you don't have to like dwell on that. You can let it go too. So it's like, it's yeah. I, everything that you are saying, I'm like, yep, yep. I can relate. And then you're on the ball. I was doing something. I don't remember. I was doing my right butt cheek and something happened. I don't remember what, I don't, I don't remember what happened, but all of a sudden a thought of my childhood popped in my head and immediately that ball hurt. I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> I'm, the muscle. I'm like, have this one out because this one hurts. So, but yeah, I mean, it's amazing. I don't, I, I just feel better. I've, I've spoken with family members and I'm like, I haven't told them I need my forgiveness, but when I've spoken with them, people I haven't spoken to in a long time, not out of anger, but just because there's no opportunity. Yeah. I was like, mm, no, it's okay. In my heart, I told myself. I forgive. Like, it doesn't matter anymore. Like they are who they are. You are who they are. You are. It's all good. Like you got this. Oh, yeah. So I feel much better. Oh, that's such a blessing. It really is. And 
no matter, I mean, I think that people can get, can reach where you're at in, in a multitude of ways, you know, like there's a lot of ways to do this, but I think when you do the movement and do the food and you do this for yourself, like you just set yourself up for like the perfect storm of being able to release shit that just is not serving you anymore. (laughs) Oh no, I agree. Totally agree. And my friends know this. And my mom actually has always told me, put your shoulders back. You know, I, I, I got tall early and Mm. My first boyfriend was really short. So I used to always say, can you bend down? You know, I was too tall for him. Yeah. And so I spent a lot of years like this. And she's like, wow, you're just this last weekend. She's like, your posture is really good. I'm like, oh, thank you. Feels good to stand tall, doesn't it? I know it's so funny because like I never, I, I never was like actually working on my posture. Like that wasn't anything that I was ever actively doing. But after like a couple of months of doing this practice and like, holy shit, like my posture is so much better. So it's like all these little things that happen that you're not even trying to do. It just happens as like a little side effect. So it's like it's amazing. 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 And I know, you know, the the thing is like, it's really hard to explain what Michelle's work is. Like I've had a hard time from the beginning from when I started to do it. And I would explain it to friends. I'm like, just come with me. Like you just have to experience it because it is like movement therapy. Like that's as close as I can get. And it's also, you know, you're going to get more flexible and less tight, but like, it's so hard to explain. So I'm really like, when you said you just trusted us. Yeah. And I think that's really what it takes because this is a brand new practice for almost everybody because for Michelle, it's like, she's the only one really doing it like the way that she's doing it. So go like, talk a little bit about that. So you were hesitant a little bit in the beginning when the ancestor things came up and you were like, Oh, what am I doing? Like, so when you decided to just like trust us and go with it, can you talk a little bit about that? Because I know that there's some people who have a really hard time with that. Mm -hmm. Okay. So at first I was, I I felt more tense, right? So just laying on the noodle ball hurt so Mm -hmm. bad, but just laying on my back with my head down, I was extremely dizzy. I have a really bad vestibular system. So anytime my head is tipped, I'm I'm nauseous and dizzy. So Mm -hmm. I almost quit. Cause I was like, Oh, I cannot be nauseous anymore. I mean, I'm not kidding you. I get car sick when I drive, like it's awful. Mm-hmm. And I don't, that's funny. Cause that's gotten better too. now that I'm thinking about it, I didn't realize that, mm-hmm. but, um, but I started thinking about, I thought, well, just go with it. You know, Molly's been doing this for a long time. The, I don't feel like the program is designed to sell you something. Like I feel like, I mean, obviously it's a living, right. And you have to, it's a business. But it, the whole purpose, like I've always felt like the purpose was to help other people and yeah. to share knowledge. So I thought knowing that that's the premise, you just have to trust it. And it was funny. It was like day three, I think, of doing it because I was dreading it. Day one, mm-mm, didn't like it. Day two, <laughs> dreaded it. Day three, dreaded it. But something happened about day three or day four. I don't really remember. I should have looked at my journal before before we spoke. All of a sudden, things were not as difficult. And I knew the flow because I'm somebody who like writes notes for everything. I'm somebody who like had to watch and pause and watch and pause because I want to do it right. You know, I want to do exactly how she's doing it. And at one point, Michelle said, if you can't do this, that's okay. Get where you're at. And I thought, you know what? Stop trying to follow her exactly. I love the big group ones. Um, Stop trying to follow her exactly and just follow what your body wants to do right? I could do downward dog. I'm not super tight. You know, my um, hip flexors were tight, but other than that, but everything else hurt, like rolling on the ball hurt. I had so many knots in tension and I, it was, it it might've been about day five, but right in the first week, all of a sudden, or the first week of doing it, things started loosening up and I'm like, wow, the ball didn't hurt as much today. And then I had to think about that. Why didn't it hurt anymore? And I thought, okay, you can just, I put it away for a little bit. And I thought, don't analyze it. I thought, no, you have to analyze it. (laughs) Right? This is important. So I started realizing, I think it was combined with now I had faith. Now it wasn't like, I think Wyatt had said hokey pokey, like he wasn't into the ancestry or something like that. And I think that was holding me back a little bit. Um, And I thought, oh no, you have to think about the people that walk for you and whether you got along with your dad or not, you have to thank him because without him, you wouldn't have life. And once I started doing all that, the movement 
had so much easier and I looked forward to it. And I, I do it every single day. My advice to everybody and every time in that wonderful Facebook group that I just love. Isn't it the best? Oh my gosh, it is. But I tell everybody starting, just trust it. Just don't fight it. Because I think internally we fight things that feel different. If it hurts, we fight it. If it feels a little different, we fight it, even if we don't realize we're fighting it. Yep. Actually think about it. And fighting it, I'm going to stop fighting it. That is fantastic. 100%. And when you fight it, you do tense. Mm -hmm. So there's like, there's such a mind body connection that you realize was happening. And it's, yeah, I can't tell you how many times Michelle has just like, I mean, she, she knows what she's doing. I don't know. I mean, she knows what she is doing. Well, and two, I wanted to say like for the people who are like medical, like I spent years. Okay. I actually had to dissect cadavers to be an OD. Like mm-hmm. I know all about the muscles. I know all about the nerves. Like I'm a very science based person. Mm-hmm. I get science. I get neural. Like I'm the one who gets to train everybody and how the brain responds to stuff and how the body's I, stuff. Like I eat it up. And so when I had to tie the muscles to ancestry, that was so counterintuitive of what I've always had to do. Yeah. And I think that's why I struggled at first, yeah. even though like I go to Buddhist temple and I do a lot of different things and I read a lot of different mindfulness stuff and I teach students mindfulness. I wasn't relating it to that. Yeah. And I thought, oh my gosh, that makes total sense. Like, when they first diagnosed, I had my gallbladder wasn't working. The only way they diagnosed it is I had right shoulder pain. Like then they went in and did the test. And I'm like, how does right shoulder pain mean my gallbladder? And my doctor was like, no, we're going to check it out because you didn't injure it. And it was my gallbladder. And I had to go back to that. Like, yeah, like you have trigger points for things. Can like, if, if it works with your organs, like, come on, like you have to like really think about it. We are not just science. Yeah. Our bodies are not just science. We're not just cells. They're important, but they're not everything. Yeah. So and we're this whole system that works together. You know, it's, a, yeah. it's amazing. And like, and we're not taught that there, there's no mm-hmm. class in school that teaches that. <laughs> like, nope. that's I ever went to. Um, so it not is. Yeah. Yeah. And it's, it's amazing work. And I think, uh, I'm so, I'm just so stoked for you and I'm so happy for you that you just decided to do this and now you're seeing all of these benefits because it really is like these tools you'll have forever oh definitely and I don't go back like there hasn't been like we did we ate out one day I don't remember what it was I don't remember what it was but we went to a place that we go to that I know has quality food and I used to eat this like big bean and brown rice and avocado burrito like every time we went this was our every Friday night or every Friday night used to be a fast food place. But then we found this place and, um, and I used to think of it like, Oh, that's my treat. Right. Well, now we, I don't remember what made us go there, but we went and I ate like a third of it because I really was full, but, and I saved it for a few days and it, it lasted and it was fine. But I think for me, like a huge gift is I don't think of food as a treat anymore. Like I used to always think, oh, well, I'm going on vacation. Like this week, we're going to South Dakota. We're going to be gone for 10 days. It's our honeymoon. We had to postpone last year. We're super excited. But I would have like got Starbucks in the car on the way there. I would have um, ate junk food. I would have had a whole car full of junk just to eat because it's my treat. It's And I'll get back to it after vacation. And now it's like, yeah. I mean, I have like things planned for the car, like if I'm hungry, but I know I won't snack while we're driving because I don't need that anymore. Like I don't think of food as a treat anymore, which is really weird to me because I've done that for, I'm 50, so at least 35 years. So it, it's just, it just amazes me, you know, that I didn't give my kids treats. Like they didn't, I think my son was in third grade before he even knew that a Twinkie existed. He had no clue mm. what they were. He thought they were something brand new when somebody at school had them. So why would I think of food as a treat for myself? Like there's so many other things I could treat myself with. So yeah. It's yes. Amazing. Yeah. That's it's, such a huge mindset shift. It's crazy. But I think one of the problems now is my beautiful, like I've always had like bowls of fruit everywhere to me. That's art. And they're always empty. <laughs> <laughs> my fruit bowl is empty. I have a fruit bowl on the table. I have one over there. that has got a watermelon in it. Like they're always empty now because we're always eating it. And here's another thing too. I wanted to tell you about the program that I love yeah. and I'm so grateful for. Every other reset I did would limit your fruit. 
to like oh. one cup a day. That made no sense Forget to me. about it. Like, and you mean I have to eat it before noon? What if I want fruit in the evening? And that totally Apps with your mind. Like if yeah. you're telling me that this isn't good for me, like I've always thought fruit was good for me. And when I read it and you said at least three fruits a day, I'm like, yes, <laughs> fruits and summer's coming. And I love, like, if I want to eat a mango, I want to eat a mango. I don't want to oh think, oh gosh, it's five o'clock. I can't have a mango. No. Like, oh my gosh. That, it, it drives me batty. It's like, that's how yeah. you stay stuck. Like that is exactly. how you stay stuck in that, in that mindset of deprivation. And it's like, for the love of God, it's fruit. It came from a tree. Our bo- we are designed to eat fruit and to digest fruit. So, um, hallelujah, man. Like, yeah. you know, it, any, any program or anybody that says that you shouldn't eat fruit, like I just, I want to, it drives me, it drives me crazy. <laughs> yeah. Oh, it, it always drove me crazy. And then Somebody had said to me in my family, you eat way too much fruit. Mm-hmm. And, I might, and, and I thought about it and I was like, oh, do I eat too much fruit? And I thought, wait a minute, you're drinking a beer and eating a cheesy pizza, <laughs> like three kinds of meat. I'm not listening to you. Like all these years I've had to say that to myself. And I'm like. No, I- it's like reality check. Hold on just a second. Like what? <laughs> You know, it's like, okay, too much fruit is bad, but like that, that like big dish of cheese and, and drink are, are fine. You know, I mean, it's so, I think that people just overcomplicate it, you know, people just overcomplicate it and it's not, it's yeah. And then in in reality, like it's not, it's, it's so much more simple than people make it out to be and we make it for ourselves, you know, but I think that we're kind of designed to do that. I mean, we just, we're designed to just like analyze shit and sometimes mm-hmm. it gets us in trouble. <laughs> and what this program does is like, it leaves you no room for bullshit. Like this is the freedom that you guys have given, gifted to us, or at least to me. So if I don't want breakfast till like 1030 and I've been up at five, well that I'm not hungry for three meals and a smoothie because by the time the day goes, I really do try to have my dinner by 6.30 just because I sleep better. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm like, oh, well, I can have my smoothie and a smaller portion at lunch. Like, what are you worried about? Like, you don't it doesn't have to be regimented. The Facebook group has been amazing too. It's really nice to have that support and to know others are trying things with you and you get to find out what they try. And um, I did vent on there once and I felt really bad about it later because I was like, I vented about being at a grad party and somebody trying to sabotage me. And then I was like, really? I just said, you know, thank you everybody. I'm going to shut off comments because I thought (laughs) I don't really want to make you having to fight for me. Like, why did you do that? Like, it was nice to have that support because I was so angry at the time. But I thought, yeah, I don't want to, like, put that out there into this group because this group is just owning and it's just it's fantastic. So. Isn't that awesome? And that's exactly, like, that's exactly why I knew that this group was going to be amazing because everybody is going through this process. So we're right with each other. It's like everybody's on the same page. And, and, and I think just, like, you, you know, have more, are more calm and maybe more patient now. It's like, people, that's just part of this. And we do, I mean, the mindset changes, the attitude changes, the stuff that irritates you change, the way that you express your irritation changes. Um, It's just so much. And when you have a group of people who are all on the same page, man, that's amazing. We don't even have to moderate that group, which is incredible. Oh yeah. You know? Yeah. And the the juices, I used to juice years ago. Mm -hmm. I, I don't remember. I think I fell out of it because I just, I was making the same juice every day mm. and I just, I got tired of washing my, I don't know what it was, my <laughs> bottles, but we just kind of fell out of it. So when this started, my husband was like, oh, would you juice for me too again? And I'm like, absolutely. Because he is where I'm plant-based. He's a, I'm going to eat Captain Crunch at two o'clock in the bed in the mm. middle of the night. You know, <laughs> Or like extreme spectrums, but he makes sure I have food. I make sure he has food. Like we, we are where we are. Yeah. Um, he is like the best person. Plus we had our year anniversary yesterday. So I have to say all this gushing. <laughs> <laughs> so he drinks a green juice every morning and he's noticing that he feels a huge difference. He's like, yeah, even like, I thought he went on the weekends because it's not going to work, but he's like, oh yeah, no, I want my juice on the weekend and he'll get up. And I'm like, oh, awesome. Like I loved having the recipes to start, mm-hmm. but your video at 
it just helps with saying, eh, I just throw in this and I taste it. And if it's not what I want, I throw more. And I'm like, yeah, you don't have to like have your computer out every single day and try to memorize this stuff. You just and get it down exactly to you know, how it's written. Yeah. I mean, and I think that's just part of what we're thinking it too. And, and trying to be like perfect, you know, I mean, there's so much freedom in this and I think we just get into the habit of like wanting to do it perfect, but it's like, what is that? <laughs> yeah. So you put yeah, a little bit less perfect. ginger or turmeric instead of ginger, you know, just like, just do it, you know? And I think that's, that's awesome. I mean, it's, I love talking to you because it's like everything that I had hoped for this program and for people going through it, I hear you talking. I'm like, yes, like that's, yes. that's exactly what we wanted, you know? So it's so awesome to actually hear you bring that to life and we did a really good job <laughs> you did you did a fan and i'm hoping like, i talked to like my sister about it and i'm hoping that at some point because she's not plant-based yeah but she's struggling with some things and i'm thinking if people who are plant-based plant-based could get turned out like for me it was easier because i was already plant-based so that part was easy but people who aren't plant-based would benefit so much from this and they would start feeling how great they feel with the food, then maybe we'll turn more people onto the community and save this planet of ours at the same time. Like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So let's just get more people. Totally. Bring totally. People into the exactly. And that's, and really, I mean, I wanted to talk with you because I haven't done it yet. And I know that there's, because of this program and especially the movement portion is kind of hard to explain. We can okay. put so much on that landing page. And so I think right. a lot of people initially, like just because they, they are in our community and they know us and they trust us, they signed up for it. Mm -hmm. but there's people who are on the fence who are like, I'm not sure what I'm getting myself into. So I really wanted to start talking with people so that we can shed some light on it and let people know like, Hey, just trust us and do it because it's, you'll feel so good. Yeah. And it's not like you're asking somebody to take steroids and take all these supplements <clears throat> like really oh, yeah. it's good for you to try it and nothing that is being asked of you is or actually I don't even want to say asked nothing that is being proposed mm -hmm. is going to hurt you yeah. so just give it a few days and try it I know some people have talked about like oh they're really going to want their wine mm -hmm. or uh, their coffee so I don't like the taste of coffee. So I was lucky that way too. I mean, I was pretty lucky. I, I realized through this though, I don't have cravings. Like I don't really crave anything. What I craved was making myself wrong. That's what I crave. Uh -huh. So I used the self-talk video mm. from that you talk about talking through cravings. I used it anytime I had the urge. Like if I yeah. ate too late at night, yeah. then it's just sitting there and that, you know, that feeling's back. And mm. I was like, mm, let's talk about this. Okay. How do you feel? How does that feel? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it doesn't feel good. Is it going to feel good if you make yourself? It's going to feel good initially, but how's it going to feel later? Like, and so I used your self talk for that. Like, for me, it wasn't the craving, it was for that. But I did realize that I didn't think I snacked that much. But we have, I have like behind me, my husband has like a big glass jar of um, tortilla chips. Yeah. And every week I was buying them, every week. And then all of a sudden I'm not buying them. And I'm like, wow, you're not eating anymore. He goes, baby, that wasn't me. You were eating them. <laughs> and I was like, oh my gosh, I really was. Like we, now they go stale and I throw them out and I buy him more because I don't even think about that stuff. And like we have a little candy jar that has stuff in it. And I don't like it's sitting there. And I thought about, do I want to just like get rid of that? And I thought, no, it doesn't really tempt me. I walk by and I look at it. Like I don't want it. It's if weird. It. Isn't it weird though to have that be gone? Like yeah. it's a really weird thing that it, it's like, it's almost like a light that just gets turned off. Mm -hmm. it exactly. It's like for me and chocolate, you know, I haven't had chocolate since I started the, the, uh, lighten up, like when we launched and mm -hmm. I'm like, I cannot believe I haven't had chocolate in, in like going on two months. And I don't yeah. think about it. I just, it's no. so weird to have that just be a non- like something just like that I don't even think of. It's so strange and awesome. Yeah. Um, I think that it's really interesting. You know, everybody, everybody has their thing, you know, whether it's throwing themselves up, whether it's chocolate, whether it's binging, whether it's, you know, severe, you know, like cookie addiction, like whatever it is, like every single one of us has our thing. And I think it's, it's beautiful that you are able to apply, like you were talking about that self talk mm -hmm. video that I did. I kind of did an example of what that looks like in one of those videos. And the fact that you could use that and apply it to the area 
that you struggle with and the area for you that's that's challenging. Um, I love that because I think we're all so much alike, you know, and it's just a reminder of like, we all have our different shit, but the stuff that we go through, it's so similar, you know? It's amazing. It really yeah. is amazing. I yeah. know when, uh, when it hit me, it was like so many light bulbs happen like during this, right? So during the process, it was like the movement, all of a sudden something didn't hurt anymore or all of a sudden something hurt when a thought came in my mind. It was like light bulb. Oh my goodness. There's the connection. You yeah. know, when drinking the juice, like I was drinking the juice one day and all of a sudden it was like, I, it's going to sound hokey, but I don't care. I'm just going to say it. All of a sudden I just felt like fantastic. I felt like fresh and warm and just like super energetic and like almost giddy. And I was like, wow, like light bulb, this is what your body wanted. Your body's telling you, yeah, that's what I wanted. I don't want that. And I love tea. You know, I have a whole bunch of tea there, but I don't really even really drink tea anymore. Like I used to drink tea every morning and probably in the winter I will. But I thought, no, I'll just go out to the garden and pick some spearmint leaves or some lemon balm leaves if I want something different. But really, all I ever really want is water anymore. Like I didn't mind the warm water. I know some yeah. people worry about that. But I've always had water in the morning when I wake up. But I don't need to add lemon to my water. I don't need and, and if you do, that's fine. But for me it was like, oh, this is what my body wants. Like I just like it's amazing to actually know that your body has been telling you all these years what you want. And the I don't want to say the old me, but the previous me would have been like, oh yeah, I wish I would have found this sooner, all those years I wasted, but mm -hmm. I don't feel like that. I'm like, you know what? This is where I needed to be at the right time. Like I might not have gotten the same out of it if I would have done this a year totally. ago, two years ago. Like this totally. is, I really feel like the universe puts you where you want. When I was looking for that first recipe and I don't remember what the recipe was, but I found the recipe and then I watched your welcome video that day I signed up. So I think I've been in the community like a year and a half. I was like, oh my gosh, like the whole, you're telling me that I'm going to feel better, but you're also telling me that if I want it, I can have it. There's no restrictions. And that's, I think the beauty of lighten up. There's like guidelines to follow, mm -hmm. but basically you say you're an adult. If you want it, go ahead. Mm -hmm. Like we're not going to tell you, no, mm -hmm. just talk to yourself first. I was like, wow, I can do it if I want it. <laughs> like I have control over my life. I have control over everything. And it's just so much better than anything else I've tried. Like I don't, have a gym membership anymore. I work out in my garage. Yeah. I do have a punching bag out there for days that work is like super stressful. Awesome. But yeah. it's much better than alcohol um, for me. But um, but now it's like, I just feel like I have like control over everything. Like if I want to do something again, and then I think about it and days will go by and I'm like, oh, I didn't even want that. Like, yeah. that's so strange for me. Like, that is just so, all, 35 years I've been, like, fighting food, and I've had such a toxic mm -hmm. relationship with food. Yeah. And now it's, like, I'm so grateful for food yeah. because it makes me feel great. Like, yes. you know, it, it's, yeah. it's my friend. It makes me feel good when I want it, and it's just amazing to me. Yeah. Yeah, it makes me want to cry sometimes. Like, I'm just so happy about it. Like, I just, and yeah. I want to tell everybody, but I know when I start talking, they're going to be like, oh, God, here she goes. <laughs> so I just have to, like, wait till they ask me, right? So. Yep, and they'll know where to go to when they're ready to ask, too, because you're, yes, you're exactly. glowing and you are happy and that radiates off you, you know, and so, so people notice that. But I think it's, like, so much of this is just, like, really about taking responsibility for, for mm -hmm. yourself. Absolutely. And just like standing up and being like, yeah, I can have that if I want. And then I'm going to probably not feel great. So maybe, you know, it's just about like taking responsibility and pausing and thinking it through and not going on autopilot. Cause like when you do that autopilot, that's when you get in trouble. Cause like, like you were saying, like in the morning you would have had tea or you would have, you know, it's like all this extra stuff that we always think that we need, but really it's like our body wants simple stuff. We, so much easier. It's so much easier. It's so much easier. And then you realize like, wow, that was a lot of um, energy put into food now is that's free for other things, like for the movement practice, for example. Exactly. Well, and then groceries too. Like I know people worry, right? Because fruit is expensive, right? And when you're juicing, 
Mm-hmm. Some of the stuff is expensive. Luckily, um, it's summertime here in Michigan, and so I have a really big garden. So I have tons of greens coming out of the garden every day. Not that greens are too expensive, but I realized that, yeah, my grocery bill went up a little bit, but then I started tracking it. It really didn't go up because I'm not buying convenience foods, Mm -hmm. right? I'm not eating out. Like if I take my, my grocery budget is higher, but my other budget is lower. Yeah. You have to like really pay attention to that. I do buy organic for my juicing just because I, you know, think, well, if I'm going to juice it, like I'm going to put this and it is more expensive, but, um, but things even out, like if you think about, and I'm not spending the money in healthcare, I don't take a single, um, the only supplement I take is I take the Alpine organics and I had been taking those um, yep. vitamins. Um, my B12 now, I just actually had a physical last week for years. I, before I was even vegan, I had to take shots every mm. week, and once a month. My B12 numbers are ridiculous. She's like, what are you doing? Like, why are your B12 numbers? Luckily, I'm super supportive of that. So that's nice. And I don't take melatonin. I mm-hmm. don't. I need. I really have a big day the next day. I was taking tons of things to help me sleep. I was mm-hmm. taking um, that cheaper version of Nyquil. You know, I don't have to do all that anymore. I don't buy all these extra. I don't buy vitamin C. I don't buy vitamin D three. I don't buy all that stuff. Yeah. So if you think about your budget as a whole, as opposed to groceries versus something else. You know, I, my advice to everybody would be just go for it and really track your expenses other ways. And you won't feel so bad about spending money on food, which I don't know why we feel bad about spending money on food, spend money on a lot of things. No, I mean, that's the, that's the fucked up part. Like when I used to smoke and drink, I would have no hesitation buying a two bottles of wine and a pack of cigarettes. I would never think about that. Like, you know, and I smoked American spirits, so they were like $10. I mean, I would never think about that 30 bucks that I just blew and it would be done that night, you know, and then like, but buying organic food is like, oh, you know, I can't, but it's like, no, you can. It's just, it's just how, where, what your priorities are. And it's true. I mean, let food be thy medicine, right? And so it was, think about it like, yeah, but this, this food might be more expensive, but man is keeping you healthy and happy and giving you energy. It's like, it's, it's a no brainer. You know, the trade off is so great. Everything about it was a gift. So I'm so grateful to you and to Michelle and to Luann. And I don't know who else were part of designing this. I just know the three of you and I'm super grateful. I feel even better than I felt when I turned 50, which is kind of funny. I never really worried about age too much, but 50 was like, oh my goodness, you're 50. I thought, you know what? I love my life. I love my home. I love my job I love like how I feel like who cares how you know how old I am but I do I I feel like things have like over the last month month and a half have just evolved like even better like I just like now my spirit matches how I've been feeling right so my people notice that I'm just yeah I just feel fantastic so I'm super grateful Awesome. Super grateful that I did it. I will always follow it. The classroom was fantastic the way it was designed. Like the videos that you guys added, the documents, everything. Like I printed it out into a big binder. Nice. And I thought, That's kind of silly because <laughs> I open up the computer because I want to like actually see your faces when I do it. But, and I wanted to say too, like the movement, when you guys did the group movements, mm-hmm. those were so helpful. Nice. So helpful. Because you guys were all at different levels. Yep. Right. It was, it was helpful for that. It wasn't like, oh, wow, I'm going to follow so and so. I mean, it was like, oh, everybody else has their own tightness and everybody has their own issues. And it just made it more real and just like you could tell it wasn't scripted. Right. You could tell. Oh, yeah. Not at all. <laughs> so you when you lost Michelle's your dog ball, and. Yeah. And when you lost your golf ball, your golf ball I lost my golf ball all the time. So it's like, yeah, this is life. So it was fantastic. So you guys did an amazing job. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. And really, and, and it is because it's our life. It was so important for us to get this out there because there was, there's just, I couldn't write a blog post that covers all of this, right? right. I couldn't write like an ebook that covers this. And because we go so in depth and because we do this, you know, Michelle's and my piece work so well together. It's like the only way to really get all of this information and, and get it to you guys was to, to, to do this. And 
Um, so I'm glad, I'm so glad that we did. And it is, I mean, this is, this is Michelle's life. This is my life. And now I, I keep hearing things that people are saying about like the, the, like waking up early, for example. And I keep saying like, welcome to my life. Now everybody knows how I feel. Yay. Yeah. I'm not alone anymore. <laughs> And, and it's a big bonus for my husband because he likes to sleep in. So I'm always up with the dogs. I, every weekend, he's like, baby, you sleep in tomorrow and I'll get the dogs. If you hear them, wake me up. And I'm like, the problem is I'm up before the dogs, yeah. you know, because they have their own bedroom. Like they go in a bedroom at night and um, you got three. You tend to like have a room for them. And um, they, I'm like, I, don't, I didn't hear them. But I woke up and then I went and woke them up. So he's yeah. like, oh, yes, he gets to sleep in. <laughs> Because I'm always the one up with the dogs, but that's okay. I know it's ridiculous. I know the the amount of energy, and it's just like. And the other really cool thing, too, quickly is like I don't know if you've noticed, but like I will not be tired until I go to bed, and then I go to sleep. I go right to sleep, and then I wake up totally refreshed. It's not like you know. It's just like okay, my body just does what it needs to do. It just recharges, and then that's it. Like wow. You know? Yeah, I used to wake up like five, six times a night. And lots of times I would wake up. Well, I wake up a lot to go to the bathroom because I'm 50. But and I've had a few surgeries um, in the past. But I do um, like I, I used to wake up and like some a thought would go in my head and I couldn't fall asleep. Like I had at least one or two sleepless nights a week. You know. Mm. And we were just talking about him. Like, I don't have that. Like we go to bed and he usually has the TV on and I'm out. Like I put the little eye thing on my, and a little earplug in and I'm out. And then I wake up to go to the bathroom and then I come back and I'm out. Yeah. Like I'm almost like foggy, but I don't wake up feeling um, hungover or anything like that. Like yeah. I know I slept. You're just tired. You're, you're tired when you're meant to be tired. Just feel yeah. so much better. And emotionally, I feel like I have, like, this is my life and nobody else is guiding it but me. Yes. And it's taken me 50 years to realize that I guide my own life. Yeah. There's so many people that I hear like doing it because of the, to, exactly to lose weight. And that's fine. Like whatever the, the, the reasons are, I always say like that is totally personal. But like, once you go through this experience, that's when it can hit you like, oh, yeah. Okay. Well, that's nice. But this piece was always missing. This much yeah. bigger piece was missing. And when everything else was addressed, then all of a sudden, oh, I did lose some weight too. You know, it's like, it's crazy how it works. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. This has been awesome. I really enjoyed talking with you and I'm just so happy for you. I'm so, so stoked that you are feeling good and kicking ass and feel like you have these tools and you can just keep flying with it. That's the whole point. So awesome. Awesome job. And thank you. Thank you so much for just trusting us and for following along because like we could have done this whole program and it would have done nothing for you if you just didn't trust us and you threw in the towel and said, fuck it, I'm not going to do it. So, you know, you did the work, you showed up for yourself. And so thank you for doing that. And thank you for sharing your, your experience. I feel very fortunate to have had this talk with you and i um, really grateful that you're allowing me to share it as well. Yeah. No, thank you very much. If anybody else can learn from my experience, I'm good for it. But it was so nice talking to you. I feel like I'm like, wow, I actually get to talk to Molly. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm and for me too, please. I definitely will. And you guys have an awesome vacation. We will. You'll see pictures. I'm sure I'll be posting them in the group. So yeah, so thank you so much. All right. Have a great time. Thanks, Kim. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.